Good reapings, everybody. Welcome to Serious Creepers Adventures in Child of Light. It is time that we play this game. So we shall play it connecting to the Ubisoft servers because everything has to be connected nowadays. <laughs> uh, just looking at the stuff. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the music a little bit just so it's not too loud. Uh, but the rest should be okay, so let's just go start a new game, and I'm gonna play on normal Child tuck yourself in bed and let me tell a story of Lemuria a long-lost kingdom and a girl born for glory in Austria was a crown land ruled by a duke Aurora was his daughter, child of a duchess mysterious, beloved by her father. He raised the girl alone, they were rarely apart, till the duke felt lonely and misplaced his heart. It was the Great Friday before Easter 1895. Players performed for the duke, his new bride at his side. That night Aurora went to sleep, the fire burned down low. She caught a chill that spread. Her skin was cold as snow. At dawn they found her, vacant. Aurora's light gone out. Her father wept and pleaded, but there could be no doubt. For all intents and purposes, Aurora was dead. And yet, once upon a time, she awoke in a strange land instead. Girl and the Firefly. That was a really sad story right at the beginning. I didn't even know that. Father, wake me from this slumber. So, you might have seen on my channel that I actually tried this game a little bit, right through the old monastery, uh, which was the demo version, so... Um, I know a little bit of the controls, but the demo plays like somewhere in the middle of the game. I'm not sure if I'm gonna try to, if I'm gonna read all of this because I'm not very good at reading, <laughs> so I don't want to destroy the whole mood by with my bad reading skills. But this game looks so amazing. I really like the style in this. It looks like we can't hover yet or anything. I remember the demo we can't. Right to the okay. I guess, oops, I guess we keep going right. So she's dead, huh? And it looks like it actually plays in the real world, at least where she was before she died. The dream is for Dark spirits fly, I know not where. Oh, hello, spider. One thing I read is that they apparently all talk in rhymes. No, wake up, wake up. Nightmare, let me wake. <laughs> Who spoke? Oh, that's his name is Firefly. I did. Shake the dew from your eyes. Before mold grows, that's common sense. A firefly that speaks advice. My supper must have been too dense. Food sounds good, but I am lost. 
Ever heard of an Aurora? Why, sir, she is me. Both sir and she a split aura. Perhaps he has some kind of flora? <laughs> it's so weird that everything rhymes. Well, all of it. Seize your foolishness at once. She's being a princess. I am Aurora. I am she. I hope I don't butcher her name. Oh, why didn't you say so? Follow me. The lady waits. Hair long as forest stream. With skin like moss and gleaming eyes. A seer she'll know the way out of the stream. Whee. Let's follow this little dude. So we can control him with the right stick. By the way, I'm playing this on a PS4 if that wasn't in a title or anything. Just so in case people want to know what it plays like on that console. Oh wow, look at that guy. He's a giant. Or something. He looks like a tree giant. What is tied to these branches? Curious charms, little hands fast and tight. Don't you know these are wishes? Wishes of light left in darkness night. Follow the orange one. Find more. What? Something bright. Okay. Wishes taste delicious. Have a bite. Wait until I tell father about this night. <laughs> oh god. Talking rhymes is weird. What, when you listen to rhymes for a long time... Oh, look at this. Looks like a pig. Uh, you set a rhyme yourself. Oops. I think I kind of messed that up. So I think we can touch them too. We don't have to touch them with him. But if you do that, you get twice as many or something, I guess. I guess that's what it means. Oh, and then the green one is HP and the purple one's MP. Okay. Uh, should we go there or should we check over here first? Okay, there isn't really much. I don't know if we should collect all of those either, because this bar seems to be full, so I don't think it actually does anything. The pass right over this tree. But I cannot fly there with thee. That sure is a problem. Trap, the door is bared. Barred, I'm not sure. I think it's barred. A scepter round, a translucent sphere. Clear as glass, the answer. Sir Firefly, ignite your rear. Whoa, I barely know you. <laughs> Do it and I'll show you. The tree scepter's a shadow cast. Oh. We have to match the symbols fast. Alright, so we hold him down. And that apparently drains his... His bow on the left top corner. So this is probably why we shouldn't have consumed all of those very... Oh, wishes. That's what they're called. So Firefly, our pass is clear, but who would put a door here? Mysterious. Let's go find out. Who was she, I wonder? Remove the sword under. Who spoke? Some sort of ghost? The lady of the forest, I'm sure of this. Okay. Pull out the sword from the stone. Very old fairy tale. It's real, look at it gleam. Uh oh. Run, that thing looks mean. <laughs> Fortunately, I wield a sword in the stream. Ah, this music. I've been listening to the soundtrack for a while. So good. Alright, we will act because that's all we can do. We only have a slash. So, one thing I learned from the demo is oh, it's a creeper! <laughs> fighting a creeper. Interesting. Uh, one thing I learned is that you can slow them down with this little dude here. I forgot what the button was. I think that's the one. Oh, you can toggle it. Or something. I don't know. Um, while he's doing that, it slows down the um, the character on the bar at the bottom. But it drains your little energy from that on that dude. I don't found healing tonic. Uh, so it's one way of like getting more time and I think you can also do that on if you hover over her and you do this it heals her over time. So very cool. I believe this game features two-player mode too so you can actually have 
uh, second player play as him. Oh, what is a father? That is simple, I am his daughter. Right through the monastery. Okay, so he... Well, let's... I think you can also, like, stun him like this. And then... Somewhat run into him, maybe? Maybe not. Oh, that's what he could do. Okay, you can't battle him when he's stunned, I see. But we attack from behind, so we got a surprise attack. Oh, and there he tells us to slow foes, hold L2. Okay, so I only have to hold L2. I did, uh, I pressed the, uh, the right triggers, at uh, the right, um, stick. That locks it in place, I guess. Uh, but we, just, we will just attack and slow him down. You can see at the bottom, you see the little, the icon of that firefly dude next to the enemy now. And it's a lot slower. If I let go, it speeds up again. But I think two hits should be okay. Yeah. The last one died in two hits too. Ooh, we got a level up. And that's why we have to flower in this battlefield too, so we can regenerate this bar during a battle. Okay, we got quite a few points up. Leveling really scales up quite a bit, I guess. Six more health. Alright. Select new skills. Alright. And from what I've seen is those kinda seem to branch off into different gameplay styles a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. Uh, so we could learn Starlight, which is an attack. And it's strong against dark creatures. I'm not sure how you can tell what a creature is. We can also upgrade our MP, which we don't need right now since we don't have a skill yet. And we can get a light ray, which is a very long casting time, but it's a powerful light attack with a 10% chance of killing a targeted dark creature instantly. Ooh, okay. That sounds pretty good. And then if you look down here, you know, you unlock the you unlock unlock them one by one, so you could get a counter attack. And then upgrade the light of ray. Uh, the light of ray? The light ray. That hits all of them at once. That's pretty cool. So on the other pass, it's more about, I don't know. MP, magic, magic. Starlight. So it seems to be about one skill. So if you want to have starlight, light ray. Oh, in this case, here we have defense. So I guess this is more the, uh, the combat tree. Um, I think think I'm going to learn... Let's see. I do like counterattack. Maybe I should go towards there, although slash all sounds pretty good to you. I don't know. I don't know how many... Um, oh, 25% for four turns. I don't know how many skill points we can get in this game. Okay, let's maybe go for this one. Light ray. Alright. Ten percent chance, okay. Hopefully we can find some dark creatures. And it looks like his bar automatically regenerates. So we don't have to do that manually. Like collecting those things. We can't get up there yet, okay. Let's keep going then. Can I control him with a touchpad? Yeah you can, okay. Not sure if that's easy or not difficult. What would be kinda cool to uh, play this with other people? Might be fun. Surprise strike. It also looks like if you do this um, in a specific order, if you always touch the... Oh, wow, that was creepy. A person. Is that the queen? Uh, but if you touch the orange orbs first, it looks like afterwards, if you do it successfully for all of them, you get HP and... Um, oops. HP and MP orbs. Okay blind him and then just stand here and wait for it to attack okay we will slow him down how much are we attack now seven oh oh one hit now cool uh, yeah I don't know if that's a dark creature or not I guess a creeper sounds pretty dark I'm a dark person healing tonic yay are those Things, anything? No, there's just fireflies. Yeah, if I okay, let's see. If I do this orange, 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 yeah, see, you get those smaller orbs and they heal your MP and HP. Ooh. 
Oh, now we have two, okay. So... Okay, it shows you which one I'm hovering over, so I'm gonna slow down this guy. But I'm gonna attack this, so you should die in one hit. Then I will just take out the other guy. No problem. So, does it say here? No, it doesn't. I thought it might say the, uh, the element of those creatures. I don't know. Scene stealer, okay. Get our first trophy and another level up, nice. Let us assign more skill points. Magic defense, probably don't need that yet. Uh, I would like to get more strength, I guess, because we we do attack with the sword a lot. So maybe I'll try to go up here. It's going to be waste at first, but... Uh, the other ones don't really seem to have strength upgrades, just defense, so... Oh, do we have two? No, okay. So let's do this. I need to recharge my bar. Hold that to glow, just so you can see stuff, I guess. Can we just jump with those? Yeah. The whole um, second character here, with that little fire dude, firefly dude, is very much like um, the Rayman Legends, where you control uh, this character with a second controller. I guess uh, <laughs> the people at Ubisoft shared those game mechanics among them. There's a chest up there. Oh, oh no, it's a it's a crate. Uh, let's actually see if there's anything here. Yeah, oh, there's a chest. Cool. What do we get? Magic potion. Okay, so we have two, I think two or three healing potions. We actually haven't uh, got hit yet. I'm not sure how easy the normal mode is, to be honest, but I hope it's not going to be too easy. It's nice to have a a uh, challenge, but I also just want to really play this in a more relaxed way, I guess. Uh, let's stun this guy. Oh, did he get us now? No, okay. I, I wasn't pointing. I wasn't looking at the at the enemy, so I wasn't sure if that would count as a surprise attack or not. But luckily it did. It just depends on where you're standing compared to him. I guess I should try out my new skill. Oh, another level up, wow. Ten mana. Okay, now we can actually get the strength one. By two. Cool. Ah, which way do we go? Let's maybe check out over here. I don't know. I don't think I can attack the spider. Right to the old monastery. Okay. Queen of Light, so it wants us to go there actually. Ooh, flying ones. Oh, that crow is cool. Um, yeah, yeah, I can't reach this guy. Let's uh, quickly check if we can jump over to the left. Uh, no, I, I, I guess we have to learn how to fly first. What was that? Oh, he can open it. Never mind. Okay, we got an. Oculi or Oculi, I'm, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I guess Oculi, maybe? And those are like gems you can put into your equipment and they do different things. So we have the Sapphire, which adds... If you put it in our weapon, we deal water damage. Uh, which is, you know, like against fire elements, it's obviously strong. But it's weak on lightning and I think if you, if you attack water elements, they don't get any damage or just barely any. I'm not sure what gift is. Oh, we can gift it. Um, oh, we got two of those actually. We can also put it in our armor. Well, what is this? Shield, armor, something like that. Uh, and it will give us water damage resistance. Or we can put it into... Uh, as a trinket, I guess. And we get 5% chance of evading an attack. Hmm. And we can craft them, but we don't have enough. You always need three of them to combine them, I think. I don't think two will do. No. 
All right, so I think I'm gonna put it in here. I'm not gonna put any weapon. I tried that in the demo and I didn't like it. Uh, and I think you can only equip one, yeah. Uh, we could put it in here. I wanna see what this gift is. Let's, uh, let's just, oh, you can give it to friends. Oh, that's pretty cool, I didn't know that. That's pretty interesting. Okay, let's just put it in our trinket. There we go, so cool. Now we can actually, we can actually open chests from far away with our little water droplet. Uh, but I think I'm gonna end the episode here. And next time we will go check out what's on the right side and hopefully learn how to fly. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this game, if you like it or not. And I hope I see you next time. Bye bye.